hello welcome in we are on part six for the live 2d series in this video we are going to be closing and opening our eyes for the blinking animation and we'll see how much time we have left after we do that so we're going to focus on that first. So the next thing you're going to want to do, and by the way, if you're new here and you have no idea and you just landed on this video, I will leave a card up above to the first, very, very first part of this video, which is cutting the VTuber up into parts before bringing it into live 2, 2D cubism. So let's go into our first step. So next we're going to click new folder. You're going to type in I. We're going to select IL open, IL smile, LR open, and IR smile. So I'm going to click the top. I'm going to hold shift key and then Click the last thing to select all one, two, three, four of these. Then we're gonna click and drag into the I folder. And next we're going to go into our hierarchy over here and drop our face core warp open and go to, let's do our right eye first. So actually no, let's do left eye first. So we'll do left eye and we're gonna open this. And now for the eyeliner, I'm gonna show you a new function. A lot of people talked about using it for the eyebrows. I didn't use it for the eyebrows last video, but you can use it for the eyebrows. You can use it for the eyes. You can use this technique for anything. A lot of people were really concerned about it last video. So we'll use it this video so you can learn about it. I've been trying not to information overload you guys, but again, maybe this will be able to help you out. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this up here, the deform path edit tool. And it's just going to be like this little ch chain slash worm. So every time you kind of get to more of a bend where you're not going to have control and it will go straight across, that's when you want to drop your point. So we'll drop our point here. We'll drop our point here. And now I can click and hold to like drag it a little bit and move it around. We're going to click and hold here. Let's go like right here. Click and hold there. And then there. Cool. So now we have a little deformer, so you can use that instead of just the points or you again, now you have more control to do both. So now I'm going to go back to my little arrow here and that will allow me to pull and drag these things. You can see how this could help with your eyebrows as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do IL open. So we're going to add a parameter. Or else we're going to double click and we're going to add one to zero and we're going to add one to one point zero. Click OK. Now at our 1.0, we want it to be open and then at our eye snap to the left, we want it to be closed. So I'm going to start dragging this down here one point at a time. You might need to grab some of these other points to readjust it a bit. So as you can see, I'm having to go in and grab some of these to get a little bit of that more control that I'm going to need because these Green points aren't going to be perfect. And again, the reason why we have a lot of these weird like little kinks in the eyeliner is because our mesh is not the perfect mesh that it can be. So it doesn't know exactly how to bend stuff. And we'll talk about that in other videos. But again, this is a version 1.0 avatar. So I'm not too concerned about making everything look perfect because that's going to be way too much. It's just going to be too much to get done. And we already have this as like a six part series and there's still going to be more parts. So uh, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's it's worth it once you figure it out. So we're going to keep pulling this down here and we're going to roll with that. That looks decent. So now we're going to go to our eye white and we're going to right snap to this and add a point right or left snap add a point. And for the white, we're just going to use these points and just drag them straight down for the animation. So you can just drag this all and have it be hiding underneath the eyeliner. So we're just going to do that for both of the eye whites on both sides. And we'll also pull down the bottom too so it's not poking out down there so see how we're cleaning that up a bit there we go and now we're going to go to our wing top and now this is where again taking a picture of your eyes closed with eyeliner on or looking in a mirror or doing something like that could be really helpful because i don't know like how does eyeliner look when it closes uh when your eye closes i'm not sure unless i look at a, at a reference but uh looking at a reference i know that we'll probably pull this in a little bit and I'll just go like that and again this is why having your wings completely separate would help because the wing is going to stay facing upward when you close your eyes so I'm just going to go like that and then for our bottom liner I'm also going to drop points on there as well because I need to pull this guy in because that is sticking out a little bit and I don't like that and we can also pull it in down here a bit too if it's showing too much great so now we have our eye opened and closed now, the in-between of this eyeliner looks kind of weird. Now, this is where you could also add like an in-between point if you wanted. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to double click on here and I'm going to add a 0 0.5 point as well. So this is going to be like a halfway. So now we already have that in there. And I'm going to go back to our eyeliner and try to make this look smoother at that halfway point. So maybe it will be able to animate a little bit smoother to when the eye gets closed. So now let's take a look. That looks better. So now for the eye, the lower liner, we're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to double click, add one to the 0 0.5. If it's not letting you manually, or if it's not letting you do that, you can just edit it manually. So I'm going to go to an in-between stage here and pull the eyeliner. Now that looks decent. I'll pull this down a little bit more. Because I think it might stretch a bit. Yeah, that looks good. So again, think about what would look natural, you know, when it's closing and such. So there we go. We got that. Now we're going to go ahead and do our left eye, but we're just going to focus on the two. We'll add the middle point later again. So go to our eye right open. So let's go find our eye right in the hierarchy. Here it is. And we're going to add three points. Just add, actually, yeah, just add three. No, we're going to add two. We're going to add two. So add two for now. We'll add two to each. Okay, so I just went through and added two to each. And now we're going to do the full out closed first. So let's go back to our deform path. We're going to remember, do like a little worm thing. Okay, now we're going to go back to our pointer and we're going to start pulling all this stuff down. Remember, make sure we snap to the left side because we want the eye to be closed when it's at that left parameter there. I'm going to have to rearrange some of these points again a bit here. We're going to go to the eyeliner wing top, and again, we're going to pull this down here. We'll go to our bottom liner, pull that in a bit. So again, a lot of this craziness is due to poor, having a poor mesh. But again, this is our first model. I'm not sweating it. We're learning stuff. We're moving forward. All right, so with the eye white, I'm going to start pulling this stuff down. All right. Now we got this eye closing. The in-between looks okay, but now we'll go back in again and double click and add our 0 0.5. So let's type in 0 0.5. Okay, and I'm just going to have this as an in-betweeny again to make sure we're capturing really what it looks like in the in-between because it might not know. So we got to give it that extra little that little information where it's like, oh yeah, we're in the middle, you know, this is this is where the eyeliner should be at, at about this point. So you can use extra parameters to sort of cue it in there about where it needs to be as it's in the middle of shifting. There we go. So that looks pretty good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open just both of those. We're not going to be doing IL smile or IR smile for this. We're just going to be do, doing simple eye blinks. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a 3.6. Again, because it's a major change in what we've done. Now I'm going to export our model again for runtime as MO3 file to our PRPR Live. We're going to load up our model 3.6. Great. I'm going to Alt scroll wheel to get closer. Face capture, start cap. Oh, yes, we have to close my 3D Saya. Bye, 13 Saya. All right. Now it's like, no. I'm going to unplug and replug my camera. So stuff like this happens. Usually you just got to replug in your camera because it. You're, like I said, you can only have your camera reading one thing at a time. And that's usually when it freaks out. So now you can see we got our blinking. Yay! Blinking, blinking, blinking. Wow. And uh, yeah. And if you if it's blinking at the same time and you want to do a single eye, you want to turn off this mirror symmetry right here. So now I can have one eye open, one eye close. So... Oop, there we go. If we wanted to do that, but if you want it to mirror symmetry, then you can turn that on as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. 
Now we got blinking. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Look, we're coming to life. It's becoming a lot more lively. So we're going to call it at this. Again, I'm trying to sort of do simple slowly at a time to help get you guys on track. And in the next video, we will start the mouth. <laughs> the mouth is the hardest part and everybody's mouth is going to be different. So I don't expect you to be able to get it to work right away based on my next video. But uh, hopefully it will, again, give you that push in the right direction to figure out where you need to go. And I have a pretty crazy mouth that is not very anime-like. But again, I don't think there's a lot of tutorials with the type of mouth like I have. And again, maybe that'll be able to help you. So we'll do mouth in the next video. I will see you guys over there. And thank you again so much for joining me in these really lengthy live 2D tutorials. I know it's a lot. Totally love you guys for sticking with me here though. We have an anime movie night coming up. We have one every single month. So if you want to watch anime with a giant group of people, it's a ton of fun. We do that once a month. And uh, we also have art competitions over there. So I'll see you in the Discord and I'll also see you in the next video. Bye.